Hi, Dan Tanner. What would be the time scale if we were to give you the go ahead? Uh, would you, when would you be able to start the installation? What motivates me is to get as many solar panels on the roof as, as possible. And if I'm not doing that, then I'll probably go surfing. <laughs> We've just started doing our first installs under this uh, REN project for the uh, Weybridge Renewable Energy Network. So the potential is, uh, is, is fantastic. The, each one of these is 235 watts, come with a 25 year warranty to be 80% efficient. Silver frame, slightly bluey tinge. There are two aspects to the income returns. The first benefit is not paying for electricity. The second benefit is that there is a subsidy scheme, and that's called the feed-in tariff. The main driver behind the industry right now is the feed-in tariff which is a really exciting and positive initiative that the government have introduced. That means that suppliers have to buy back all the electricity that's been generated. So whether that electricity is used on site or not, you get paid for everything generated. So it's interesting to know your inputs and outputs. So essentially we have between one and two kilowatts coming in and we have about somewhere under half a kilowatt going out. So we're currently in energy surplus. It's a good vantage point up here. They are the first installations that we did for REN. That would probably power two thirds of what they would use in a year, but uh, it will certainly more than pay the electricity bills. Good to get something on the roofs at last, and now there's lots of others following it up. So we've done an install on Weybridge School, and from that there's generated a lot of interest amongst the, the young children and the mums and the dads and the teachers. We've got these little brochures now for Wren. It's about Weybridge going to be the eco-town in the whole country, if not the world. It's like um, throwing a pebble in a pond. The sort of ripples are going right out into the community. How could we get one of these to every person in the school? Is that possible? The more people find out about it, the more interest is generated. I'm really positive and excited about it. So we've got four kilowatts on this roof here. It's a uh, Cornish Della Bowl slate roof. It's a beautiful combo of the old and the new. And this is a John Betjeman Centre, which is a sort of a day centre for more senior citizens. And this is producing all of their electrical needs in the year. So it's made a big difference to their ability to actually operate and run this centre. These people are acting as the pioneers to push this technology forward and promote it in their community. You get a bit of a kick out of it when you look and all the panels are, are on, they're looking perfect. You switch the inverters on and it's generating lots of power and you know that it's going to benefit. At the end of the day and you look at it, you think you've got a sense of achievement. They're very happy. We must produce about 15,000 megawatt hours per year in order to reach our targets. You can't do that with small domestic installations alone. If the local people wish it to happen, we want to put in large-scale installations in order to reach those kinds of targets. There's obviously there's a lot of potential doom and gloom when you think about climate change, but I'm a very positive person, so all the ingredients are there, it's just a case of choosing the right choice. Mm -hmm.